When I approach Yavar, I have no intention of catching him. The fact that he's so difficult to catch is only a symptom of the real problem, that he's scared of people. So all I want to accomplish now is to show the horse that there is no need to be afraid. I avoid looking straight at him or walking directly towards him. By picking some grass and focusing on other things than the horse, he's less likely to feel threatened by my presence. I can therefore move quite near Yavar, but he pays close attention, ready to move should I change my behavior. When I face the horse, he gets worried and prepares to leave. I therefore turn slightly away from him, and Yavar decides to stay. I give him some grass as I pass and move away to give him time to think about what just happened. It's more likely that he'll have the courage to remain in the same place next time if I move away after having been so close to him. If I had tried to catch him, he would have run away and he would have learned not to let me that close again. I slowly gain Yavar's trust. He realizes that my purpose isn't to catch him and he's becoming increasingly curious of what I'm doing. It may take a long time to convince this horse that people aren't dangerous. We can't force him to trust us. But if we give the horse the time he needs now, everything we wish to do with him in the future will be so much easier. It's the horse's reactions that will tell you how much pressure you should use and when to release. It's important to look for any small signs that show that the horse is about to respond to our requests. The very moment that the horse starts responding, we must remove the pressure, and this is what tells the horse that his reaction was right. When you approach the horse, his natural reaction will be to move away, but by retreating, you can invite him to come towards you. By using small movements, I try to get Yavar's attention, and I encourage every sign that he wants to approach me. When he turns his head towards me, I move away to tell him that this was what I wanted. This increases his confidence. Here Yavar is standing, but he's still anxious. Pay attention to his ear. I try to find a place where he likes to be scratched, but he's still too tense. His ears move back and forth and his jaws are clenched. Eventually, he begins to relax. The way he moves his head and muscle show that he enjoys being scratched, and this is an important step towards his acceptance of humans.